Good morning, Shroud. Welcome to season four of the vlog here. It seems like today has been the first day where we've had a little glimmer of sunshine here in the last like four or five days. It's still quite cloudy, but it does look like uh, the storm might be giving us a little bit of a break today. So um, I came out to Deer Valley for two main reasons. main reason is I want to get redemption uh, here from my last video when I was struggling um, with the 106s and stuff so I want to just have a, a chill day here at Deer Valley but uh, the other reason is because it's Wednesday I have the live stream tonight I was gonna go down to the Cottonwoods but I want to make sure the live stream is set so it's just easier it was easier for me to stay here in Park City and not have to worry too much about getting to a location for the stream tonight all that sort of stuff because last time I got kind of stuck up in the Cottonwoods and all that sort of stuff so that's really the main reason then my plan is to go to the cottonwoods um tomorrow and this like the next day stuff like that but uh when it's this good it's just it's so good and i honestly have been really enjoying deer valley for for several reasons I'm using the 121s again, even though there probably won't be any fresh snow. I'm kind of curious to see how they will handle um, some more of these choppy conditions um, and things like that and see kind of how they would stack up using the JJ as kind of the control and the standard. So figured why not? I've been really enjoying them the past two days and they seem to really be holding up well. So we're going to see how the Sammy C's do here at Deer Valley, headed over to Empire with uh, still be really soft conditions, but I just don't think we'll have some super deep snow, but hey, could be wrong. So our first run here at the top of the Empire, I'm just gonna rip an Empire Bowl, I think it's called, and maybe one of these conviction, whatever. And I'm gonna see how the 121s feel in some soft bumps. So definitely less than ideal conditions for skis like this, but I think that's a good way to sort of get to figure out them. In case you guys don't know about these skis, the edge of the ski ends right here. So probably about a foot in front of the binding, the metal edge literally ends. So this entire part, and also on the, the tails, there's just no edge here. Um, as our modest says, to free up the butter zone. So, in stuff like this, not ideal. But we'll see how they work. Shorten the poles up even more, though. Going all the way. 100 centimeters. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. They are soft bumps, though. So it's like, I don't think it will really matter. Like I said, there's no edge on the ski. So I think you really gotta work hard. But the good part about this ski is that it's light. So it's actually really nimble. And there's actually still some fresh pockets here. Not bad, but you can feel how hard you gotta work to get them to move quickly. And, whoa, I did legs yesterday at the gym, quads specifically. Oh, so I'm burning up here. But to be honest, oh. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. It's a good thing I wore my mogul skis today. We have more moguls, okay. Let's do it. At least they're soft. Oh, those tight ones are where the ski is kind of tough to use, but they are only 183s. So, oh my God, dude, the conditions are so soft. They're so nice. And as soon as you even just get like a little layer of snow, whoo! 
Let's go, White Walker. Oh, that was so slow. Oh my God. The pressability is unmatched. Get up. A little bit more difficult, but. That's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That is huge. I don't think you can call that a cornice at this point. It's really scratchy up here, but. All right. Well, let's check. Okay. <laughs> so, where I was talking about not having an edge, that's where having an edge would be very nice. <laughs> oh, I guess we slid down the whole thing, but you know what? We're good. Oh, it's so soft in these areas. Look at this. Okay, so. Just gonna go here. To here. So that's where these skis are really tough, is if you're in any sort of hard packedness. There's just no edge to kind of hold you in there, but we're good. We made it. Oh. We're going to try now like a daily shoot, two and a half, I want to say, maybe three. But I think in between two and three looks pretty sweet. Three looks rad. It's definitely a little bit more skied up. Um, and it's usually pretty chill until the end of it. Can just be low coverage. I find that's the biggest challenge with the daily shoots is just snow coverage. Um, the pitch is pretty average, I think, and um, kind of the length isn't anything crazy, but it's more or less just navigating tricky snow conditions more than anything. So we're gonna kind of work our way right into actually where these people are down there. So I'm gonna call like a two and a half to three maybe. We'll see how it goes. But I will say these cornices are like this is like a cor like cornice to flat. This like isn't even yeah, so I gotta kind of work my way around and into here, but it should be fun. Okay. Guys, look at that thing. Are you serious? If this thing were to fall, I would be dead. Look at that. Yo, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. This thing is nuts. All right. Going with it. That's a nice little walk. get a little tricky
actually was a lot better than I thought. It was just really soft. But I'm not gonna lie, I have a little PTSD from when I was here last. But oh, seemed to do the trick. done this high line on shoot seven it does kind of look skiable to a degree I'm a little bit worried about this initial drop but I think we'll be all right here okay Usually we kind of come in that way, but this is kind of the high shoulder down. Oh. Oh. Man, that was gnarly, but good. Gnarly, but good will always take nice and soft. Oh, I'm stoked I got that one. Whoa. Oh. Woo. Woo. I don't think I'm skiing the best today. My legs are so sore. But I feel like I'm skiing in a way to protect them, but oh, we're making it down. That was sick. Absolutely sick. Oh. Can we nose butt it? Heavy nose butt. Oh! You gotta do the sound effects. Or else did you really nose butter? Oh, we really don't need this, but. Oh. No way! No way! No way! They were still fresh in there. Oh! 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 Oh, that was sick! Yo! Still fresh? Still fresh? Guys, I don't even know how I ended up backwards, but next thing I knew, I'm doing like a 360 in the woods, just praying when I come around, I have room. I just got so lucky.
a new one for me. So I don't know where I'm going or what my name is or where I was born. This is like a shoot 10 X X file. So Oh, oh, jeez. All right. Where am I going? Oh, I'm finna die. Oh, lost my pole, but I caught it. What a grab. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, God. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? We're in one piece. We'll name that one Shoot 11. Look at this. This would've been a lot nicer. Oh, sometimes I ask myself, how much more can I do this for? On that note, I think we got a quote while we're ahead. talk about forward pressure or AFB or like a wing weight or wing height and I just I don't know if there's something you guys can maybe look at or test with. Thank you. So we're doing is playing with skis and things like this. Okay. Woo! Yeah, yeah Roger. Hey. You better only be skiing powder and these things. Alright boys, we'll get you going tomorrow morning. We'll be ready. Um, see you in the morning. Well, in an effort to try to remedy the situation that we were having at Deer Valley, I brought those, my ARV-106s back up to Cole Sports. I'm just going to have them look them over. I explained to them what was going on. So they're going to take a look at the binding and just make sure nothing sticks out. But more excitingly, I also gave him my ARGs with the attacks to mount up. So I should be able to pick all that stuff up tomorrow and now have a pretty insane quiver so that skis a 133 underfoot reverse side cut i'm going to kind of do a whole separate thing um, once i get that but pretty stoked guys at cole sports always hooking it up today was honestly a very sick day i mean i don't really know what i was expecting but to still have fresh pockets of snow and just like the, the snow was this quality was really good um really photogenic day with the clouds it wasn't super windy like just and all around a sick day and it felt good to kind of get back up to Deer Valley and feel like um, I got some redemption. I had the live stream just now, like just live streams are always super crazy. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see all you guys in the next episode of season four. Take it easy fam. Peace out.